just to make it work. A whole lot of cream bills. Really nice. You know, it's really cream. Sick. As we make our way to the outside, we have all of the cars in plain view. A40. Really nice. Making our way to the exit so you guys can see more cars. <laughs> and we just have to stop really quickly to check out Kyla's car. F30 skirt, you guys should know. Really clean F30 340. It's one of our friends' bills. Really clean. And if you guys want to see a feature of this 340 on the channel, let us know. So we are outside and it sounds like the festivities have begun. I'm assuming that's coming from the active booth. I'm gonna go check it out. Woo! You hear that, Mark? It's a nice little vibe. All the, all, all the way from all the way from Jamaica. All the way from Jamaica. Yo, Exhaust. Oh my god. Trust me, hearing this thing in person is insane. A lot of merch going on, a lot of merch giveaways. We're gonna continue making our way down the line. There's just so much to take in right now. So many songs. So much going on. Really nice specs. E90 M3. This is what Fire Orange. With an ESS supercharger to match. Yeah, man. Seats. This is a really nice spec. Super clean. OEM plus. Sick. So let's stop and check out this M2 CS Racing owned by none other Mr. Garrett Adams. Really cool seeing this car in person for the first time. I forgot the racing series that he's in. But some of the initial things that we've seen so far, he has a lot of potential to do very great. So we're going to be looking forward to him in the next season and following his journey. Right next to it, a really nice blue G80 sitting on some nice horse kind of wheels with the gold. Really big fan of that. Yeah. Check out the engine, my carbon. Hey man. Really simple but really clean. Please support the channel and buy some merch. Oh my god, this is a really nice color combo. 
I think a former twin guys, M2 competition, very similar color scheme, color spec, really clean on the Edelweiss wheels, so Alpha in carbon fiber fenders, I really want these, these are really nice. Buckets. Really sick. Show you guys this vehicle. Now, if you look at it from the front, it's like a normal G82 M4, right? Take a look when we go to the back. Look at this, guys. I want to say I saw this at SEMA, but not up close. This guy chopped the back off, like, oh my god, like, look at this. <laughs> this is a very, very wacky build. Just some of the things you'll see at Bima Invasion. Coming up over here, actually, let me get it from the front just so you guys can take it all in. We have the man himself, Ken, with his Molar Red G80 M3. Uh, it's really just car after car after car after car. Clean builds is just insane. We're really going to try our best this year to capture as much clean, amazing builds as possible. You guys know who this is, GAD Soom. I think he's gonna be entering the exhaust competition very soon. Some more. This is very interesting right here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, it's like it's supercharged. I'm a fan of this like this. Look at the interior guys. This is an E90 body and it has M3 competition seats inside. Full swap. Now, these are the type of builds I can appreciate. Very unique. Just had to stop and get this really quickly. This is like super subtle. He brought his car all the way down. Check it out. Really nice build man. What's up? Really nice build. Thank you. And he's sitting on the new gold VS 5RSs from Apex. I really think this matches the car really nicely. Especially with the self PPF on it. Check him out. That's how the stop. This is Vico Viral's new F30 wide body build. Just had to come and check this out really quickly. Really cool color shifting wrap that he has going on with the GTS taillights. Wide body of course. Sitting on some DC forge wheels. This is a really interesting color. It does have a nice color shifting from red to purple. I see a slight hint of bronze in it as well. What do you guys think? Let me know. The favorite BMW for the People's Choice Award. Outside, making some really clean cars out here today. Now uh, we are about to make our way to. Ooh, I see a nice line of M2s yeah. that I'm gonna go check out really quickly. Oh, look at this exit. This is nice. Sitting on the Boston HF5 wheels, really clean. Guys, I just had to capture this moment. M2 CS. <laughs> but not just this. No, 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 no. We have another M2 and another and another. <laughs> oh my god, I should be a part of this crew. <laughs> this is a rated M club. We got M2s just lined up, lined up for days. Really nice. I really think next year we should definitely have our cars outside. Um, inside is nice, but outside is definitely where the vibe is at. More cars from the rated M group M5 wagon. Not something you see every day. Really nice M4, really sick. And then this purple F80 M3, really sick as well. And I'm not sure, yeah, it is. This is a real 1M. You don't really see these cars too often. And it's good that you can kind of come to these events and see cars like this. We did see an orange one inside. The white is just really nice. 
but I just wanted to show you guys some of the cars in the parking lot while everything is a little bit empty just so you guys can kind of get a good idea of what to expect a lot of different crews from all over the country what I can really appreciate is you're not just gonna see M3s you're not just gonna see M4s you're gonna see a lot of different variety all of these top mount 335s looking so good oh yeah I'm definitely a fan of this one <laughs> yeah man it's bad and over here I just had to go and capture this really quickly well this is a really unique wrap color on the M2 competition what do you guys think of this yeah. with the yellow calipers really nice combo that's right got the apes out <laughs> beast mode <laughs> Right now, we are really trying our best to capture some of the unique stuff in the parking lot. Things like this, Daytona Violet M4, Daytona Violet M3 back to back. Mark's working super hard to capture all of those unique shots. For those of you who like stance, we got something for you right here. <laughs> More stance though. Yeah, that's nice. M5, one series. Very clean F30 right here. Yeah. I think honestly this is the best time to come and see cars if you guys are interested in looking at them it's to do it when other activities are taking place all right see that line oh, i know that's for something <laughs> nice man nice my thing is trying to find some of the hidden gems like like the older cars things that you don't normally see on a regular basis that's what i'm looking for in this show this year if I see something that's unique or cool or different, I'm definitely going to try my best to capture it. A lot of good variety here. There's some more cars on display. This M3 with the new gold ES5 RSs from Apex. This is a really nice color combination. I'm really liking this one. Now again, something you don't see every day. Nice Z3 with a supercharger on the S52 motor. Some more classics. Some E46s out here, G20, B58 with top mount boys. Alright, I'll see you. It's supposed to sound wicked. It's M4 Heritage Edition, looking really sick. Clean, simple. Nice little Porsche. And it's Supra, again with this unique ruby dark cherry color. Now, there is a particular type of car that I am looking to see during this show. Some wagons. For me personally, I would love to do a wagon build. I wanted to see if I'd be able to capture some inspiration. So, if there are any wagons in the crowd, we're definitely going to capture them and see what we can gather. Speaking of wagon, we just saw one right there, boys. <laughs> Look at this. Just casually pulling up to a BMW event. Dangerous. All right, so you know we couldn't come to an event with Jamaicans here and not capture Team M Life Auto. Rick, big up yourself. Currently, the fastest G80 M3 on the streets in the world. Super aggressive setup on the fitment. Check out the back with the beadlock wheels. So you know this thing is dangerous on the street. Big up the team, M Life as always. Yeah man, M Life team out here. Don't know, man. No, I'm not really a big fan of M3 convertibles, but trust me, this one, guys, Streets of New York know exactly which one this is. This is Rick's personal E46 M3 six speed manual boosted. Yeah man, really good setup, as you guys can see. The guys, really brought all of the gems out for this event. Over at the rated M section, really sick X5 in competition. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man, look at this! It's a really clean build. That's an Empire's line out right here. Really big fan of this one, British Racing Green. Really sick. Team from German line out here without fear. Man himself, Chad. Yeah, what, yeah man, big up. How are you liking the event so far? It's going good, man. It's busy. A lot of BMWs, man. Yeah, man. A lot of people out. Nice, nice. It's a good, it's a good vibe. So far, <laughs> I like the, the burnout vibe. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't got a chance to walk inside and do a tour, but okay. I'll make it over there. And I, I gotta check out your car too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's it's always a good vibe. He has a tent yeah. out here, and he's also we're going to be giving out an award, right? Yeah, People's Choice Award. People's Choice Award, all right. So, the favorite BMW at this event with a lot of votes, we're gonna give out the People's Choice Award. Yeah, man. So, we're looking forward to that later yeah. on. All right. Let's I'm big up. Some more stuff out here, out here. Old school E30. Gotta find these gems. Oh, this is a real deal, guys. It's a real deal. Hey, man. Again, we're really trying to find all the little gems. Alpina 7 Series, not something you see every single day. This is really sick, too. Again, some more little gems. Really clean E90 Supercharge. Drop top E30. This is a really nice color. Really sick. Frozen black M5. Another nice lineup of cars right here. This M3. That's pretty sick. But look at this M4, guys. And those wheels. They're not finished. Listen, whoever the owner is, I don't know if you watch the channel, but trust me, you got the paint code really close to what I have on my car. If not the same one. Really nice. E39 5 Series. Looking really sick. G82 with the CS headlights. Looking nice. Yeah, man. Really nice. Back to back. <laughs> That's sick. Nice convoy. <laughs> and this, oh, this is really nice. I'm a really big fan of F30s. I think it would be nice to do a F30 build one of these days. Got some M2s out here. And we finally found some wagons, guys. E91 wagons. Oh, and 5 Series wagon right there. Yeah. It's really cool. That's something you typically see. But when we do see it, we love to see it. <laughs> really clean engine set up on this. Some more crew highlights. North Florida Beamers. They're cool. Guys came out heavy. Got the M2s outside as well. Got to capture all of the scene setups. Finally getting to see this M2 in person. Really clean, really nice equipment with a ski box on top. Nice added touch. Yeah, man, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, wheels. Really nice quality, really nice finish. I am a fan of their designs. This is exactly what Ken is running on his car. But really classic designs. I think it's a good combination to have on a BMW. Let's capture some other things going on here. Right now we're at the BMMR booth. If you guys don't know, this is a clothing company supporting BMW enthusiasts all the way from Atlanta. General! Yeah, man. Yo, the boys themselves, up, yes, up, yes, 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 BMR. How you, are you finding the event so far? Yeah, man, you got a chance to walk around as yet? Why no? I'm not going to lie to you, no. I don't get a chance to leave here. Okay, okay. From home, we can't see everything, look. Huh? Nice, nice, man. I see you have the 7 Series on, on display, too. Yeah, you know, you know we try to bring something different. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're doing the GS2, but it's all right, 7. Bring out the 7. Nice, nice, nice. I'll come back so, for later. those people who don't really know much about BMMR, you can just give us like a quick explanation. A quick, <laughs> Building more and more relationships. Yeah, man. Right? So, BMMR love bring us all together. That's why we're here. Okay, nice, nice. And then we just find a reason to expand on while everybody is here. You know okay. Because I mean? it's all about the community. BMMR community, best community. Hands on. Yeah, man. Don't believe me, ask somebody. You know what I mean? <laughs> Straight up. Other than that, we just emphasizing and enlightening and everything to do with the community. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I definitely like the movement you guys been going on with it. You guys have the merch. You, know, you guys do events as well. Yeah, man. And you guys are based in Atlanta, right? Nice, nice, nice. I might be taking a trip up this summer, so if you guys got something going on, we'll make, make a link for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Big up. <laughs> yeah, man. Make sure you guys check them out. BMMR. So we have a bunch of people walking back. Unfortunately, once again this year, we missed the burnout competition. Just goes to show you how much is going on each year and it's really hard to capture everything. But again, we we'll always try to do our best to give you guys the best content. Mr. Ken, 
wheeling and dealing. Work, hardest working man in the game. <laughs> yeah, man. That's some more stuff. This is something you don't see every day. BMW Z8. Really rare. Some more classic BMWs. I think this is a part of the BMW Car Club of America. The most classic, most rare OEM style BMW builds. Not too much done to it. This is as good as it gets. Yeah, go ahead. Some of my YouTube boys are here. We got the camera, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Mr. Jonathan. Yo, 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 yo. I'm tired. I'm back. I'm old. Everybody's tired. Yeah, for real. Yeah, Who's not tired? Time. Say what up for the camera real quick. Hey! Here we are, we're just staring down right now. Sir, hey. sir. So that's how to come and check this out. It's E46 right hand drive. Just won the German Line People Choice Award. If you guys don't know what this award is, it's actually that spectators get to choose who the winner is and this guy won. Very unique build. Don't really see a lot of right hand drive cars. So big ups to you, big ups to German Line for providing this nice trophy. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Shout out to the guys from North Rally Performance. They brought some of their cars down here. Nice little G80. Lots of color contrasting with the carbon and the painted engine cover. This one is a really special color. I want to say this is a moonlight metallic, if I'm not mistaken. Really nice, especially with the mag blue TEs. Really nice touch. They also have some other cars over here. This M4 competition with the bike rack on top. Really nice spec, especially with those classic HREs. Really sick. That's a nice speed though, so. Sick. Yes, Motorsport. This is their shop build. Yeah, yeah, Supra. Very sick, clean build. I want to say this is a nine second drag car. Super sick. Make sure you guys check them out. CES Motorsports. What do you guys think about this? Sick. Love that, man. Yeah. Real sick in Is this speakerphone? All right. Where you at, Johan? Me amigo. People's choice, beautiful car. Round of applause, guys. I think this is probably one of the best trophies that we have at the show. It's a custom-made trophy, well-deserving, Johan. with us so thank you once again have a blessed rest of the afternoon enjoy your weekend thank you for coming to Florida peace and just like that invasion has now come to an end guys it was honestly a very good event with super high quality builds from all over the country it was really nice to see some of the uh, mods that some people brought to the show it really gave us a good insight as to what we may do for our cars in the future and lastly i do want to give a big thanks to all the fellow enthusiasts that we we're able to meet it's really humbling to see so many people come up to us that enjoy the content that we've done and also just giving their overall support for everything that we we've shown up until this point so we really do appreciate each and every one of you guys so far and as usual big shout out to Bima Invasion and the entire crew that helped to orchestrate this entire event Ken, Miguel, everybody really appreciate all the hard work that you guys put in and we can't wait for the next event but until then if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like share and subscribe 
tune in for more geared up content check out motor gear garage for all your geared up merch and parts and guys stay tuned for more geared up content until then we're gone